we're going to record a, a series of videos showing you how to use Beef and Lamb New Zealand's greenhouse gas calculator. I'm Aaron Meikle, Product and Development Manager. Um, I'll be asking some questions as we go through, I guess, but I'm joined by Ben Hancock, who's Whole Farm Data Lead at Beef and Lamb New Zealand. And Ben was um, fairly intimately involved and still intimately involved in the, the development of this tool. So first video here, we're going to go through where you find the tool, how you log in, create your account, and how you basically set up some of the, the basics of the farm. But um, Ben, one of the people are obviously coming to use this. What's the the driver behind the tool? Why do we want a greenhouse gas calculator at Beef and Lamb New Zealand? Uh, I suppose uh, our overriding principle of this is that we have a free farmer-focused tool that is uh, gives a, a fair representation of their farm, and so that they're not legislated at or regulated into needing to pay for another consultancy or another subscription, and that they can access it themselves. Awesome. All right, so how about we're here on the, the Beef and Lamb New Zealand website. How about you show us where we find the tool, how farmers can log into it? Yep, so when you land on the Beef and Lamb New Zealand uh, website, up the top here you'll have your login or register. So if you've got an account already set up, it'll come through, and so we'll be using Aaron's one today. But if you don't have an account, you can run through here and set it up. Um, we take our privacy and security of farmer information quite seriously, and this has been updated um, by our operations team here in Wellington and uh, when the rules change at the end of last year or beginning of this year. So. so, And this is the same, so if you go ahead and log in, this is the same process that people log in when they register as a voter, so it's, um, it's got that level of security behind it as well. So once you've logged into that dashboard, this is what you'll find, the bunch of tiles, and sitting right there is the greenhouse gas calculator. Yep. So as you come through, at the moment this is just our dummy, but uh, we will have information, a bit of what you'll need, uh, disclaimer, you can see that it's um, <laughs> still still to be finalised, but we've got a, another version of this which is pretty much done. And then the privacy security again, so you can click in here and, and check what our policies are. Once you've done that, um, you'll hit start the calculator, um, and you can see the acknowledgements here. Um, Red Meat Profit Partnership helped fund uh, developing this tool. Um, but the development was done in-house um, with uh, the Beef and Lamb New Zealand Economic Service. Okay, so we've come to the, the, the first screen you come to. So there's some saved ones there, or you can start a new one, Ben. Yeah. As you'll see on these previous examples that Aaron's completed here, you've got the farm name, so he's called these a grazer test or THG example farm. So that would be the name of your farm, the season that you've done it in, and then the season that you've, uh, sorry, not the season, the date that you have completed the tool on. And you can go back into those at any time and adjust yep, them if you get you better can, information? Yep, and you can edit them um, as you, or if you don't have information on hand when you first do it, you can come back and update it. So you can, or you can go out and find the information right. if needs be. All right, let's start a new one. Yep, so fairly straightforward, start a new. So the first page you'll come to is your farm. Um, you see there's five tabs across the top here. This first one we'll walk through now. So you come into your uh, farm name. So we'll call this one um, the video farm. Uh, we'll select a, a region. Our example farms region is... Canterbury and Marlborough for this one, I think. So coming down here, Marlborough, Canterbury, and which farm class is it? The finishing farm, I think we call this one, mixed okay. finishing. So we've got a mixed finishing farm down here. If you don't know your class, you can come over to the side here, hover over this, and click on this link here, and it has descriptions. Now, you, you, you select the farm that fits you best. If you find out later on, you can always come back and change this, but we need this information sitting in behind to help uh, simplify the tool for you later on. And there's also the, the user guide which you can download or print, which is all a step by step as well that we're going to work through today. And, and it has that explanation of farm classes in there as well. Yeah. So you find the one that's best fit. Um, you might not be 100% matching up, but it's a, um, find the best description that describes your farm. Then we come down to the farm trading account GST number. Now, I've already mentioned that we will not share any information from these files. But what we need to meet the Hiwaki Kanoa milestones is we need to report the number of farms that have done this 
and talking with our economic service managers and a range of other stakeholders what is the be- for what is the best unique identifier of a farm business. This has been the most popular or the, the most ubiquitous uh, I- ID. So we will not share this information, but we just need it um, for counting. So say if I went and did my family's farm, and then my parents went and did their family's farm, the, the family farm, and then the accountant did it as well, we're still only counting one farm. And so we're not double counting. And that just gives us um, a bit more confidence when we report back to Hiwaki Ekenoa. So this will not be repeated. And again, this is private. We don't see it. We're not asking for any financial information. You'll see later on, this is just solid, solely used as that unique identifier. Right. Then we come into total farm area. So for this, our example farm that we're using, 1,074 hectares. We come down. The effective area is 1,100 hectares. And the season that we're analysing is 2015. And see, we've got this popping up here again to make life easier. And that's a key point, I guess. We want to make sure your analysis season in this matches the one um, when we talk about financial statements and fertiliser summaries and so on. Important for them. Because is that going back and looking up some information from the economic service in there? Correct. So I'll talk about this a bit when we get to the livestock uh, reconciliations. But within the survey, um, our economic service survey managers uh, do quite detailed analysis of the survey farms, which is a representative sample. So we've got strong confidence that what we say represents the sector. Within that is the average transaction dates. And that means that for your um, region and class and for that season, we can give an average transaction date, lambing date, or um, purchase date, for example. That way we can model what the amount of time that those animals on the farm. There will always be overs and unders, but the only way that you can improve on that is if you go to individual transactions, and we want a tool that's accessible to the overwhelming majority of farmers. So that's how we've, um, we've calculated that in the background. All right, and so that's all people need to do to set up their farm? Yep. So the one thing we're going to, we're going to step through this whole thing, but one of the key things is people can do sort of uh, a quick calculation or the basic calculation and then they can do a more detailed one. What are the, the key components, if, for, for certainly for, what are the, the required components or the minimum components to get the calculation? Yeah, so we'd recommend that for the minimum standards is doing your livestock opening and closing balances. I mean, it, it's livestock farming and that's, that's the starting point that you'd need. Okay. Always the more information you can put in, the better understanding that you'll have of what he can, he walk, he can I will mean to your farm and the better informed you will be for making decisions. We've, deci- we've designed this to use resources that you already have and uh, which is as a, for your stock reconciliation, your statement of accounts from your accountant, uh, your fertiliser report supplied um, uh, from the two major companies, they'll give you a summary. Uh, and then sequestration, uh, your vegetation area, if you have that available. All right, so we're going to work, work through each of those. There'll be a video on each. We're going to split it up so that it's not one long video, but a series of short ones. But if you want to, you can have a look at the user guide and jump straight to those ones we've just talked about that are just the, the required information. Um, and, but in the next video, I think we're going to move on and look at uh, fertilizer and lime use.